Hello, hi everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of MakeMoneyOnlineForBeginners.com and ProactiveComputerSupport.com. So this was interesting. I am a self-taught uh, PHP programmer, script writer, whatever you want to call me. And so I know that there's holes in my knowledge. You know, I basically, I learned PHP by having this genius friend write a script for me. And then I reverse engineered it, edited it. And then finally, after researching and everything, I, I just rewrote the whole thing. And I think I'm actually on version 3.0 of that thing now. But the only thing I've got going for me is something called ADHD, which stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. If you learn how to use it, I learned how to use it through martial arts. But if you learn how to use it, then you will become unstoppable in solving problems or doing whatever you want to do. And I do a lot of substitute teaching, for example. I'm a dual certified teacher from Illinois. I'm actually giving back to the community now by doing uh, in-home tutoring, covering all of Oahu. But my ADHD students always do really well because I know how to help them. I, when I was in school, I use sports and things like that to stay in in focus, I guess. And now that I understand ADHD, I can use the ability to laser focus that it gives me to solve a problem and, you know, to learn PHP. So when somebody came up to me and said, uh, what was that in? That was in a, a YouTube comment, I believe. A man told me that his website was PHP driven, just like mine is, but he didn't know how to generate an RSS feed. So that kind of shocked me a little bit. You know, I'm here I am thinking, okay, uh, I'm behind a little bit in everybody because I'm self-taught, but I, I guess that's not the case. So in any case, uh, let's get to it. I want to show you, you're going to need a few things for this script. It's it's not an exact step-by-step -step script on how to do this, although I have a nice little offer for you at the end of this video. This script, uh, I just, uh, I grabbed it from another script that I had. I cleaned it up and I simplified it a great deal. So I'm going to show you that right now. And all I've got on here, and I, I'd like to thank the hundreds of hundreds of programmers who's made their script available for me to copy and paste. So thank you all. But I've got a, I've got a couple of functions in here and I double checked, I'm not really using this function for curl copying, but if it ever becomes necessary, you'll have it. There's just a few values here that you need to put in yourself, like your root value is the root directory. In this case, we're using makemoneyonlineforbeginners.com. Subdir means the subdirectory. In this case, work from home. Notice I have a forward slash. Yes, folks, that's a forward slash, not a backslash. I started computers in 1993. I know the difference. So notice I have a forward slash in all of those. That will make your life easier. And then we have a display feed name. In this case, a display display feed test dot RSS. Be sure to put the dot RSS in there. The program will do the rest and put in a title for your feed. Uh, the rest of this is all done by the script itself, but let's go ahead and look at it. Uh, I use this uh, write to dir variable here because you can't write, if you write out the entire domain, 
uh, you probably can't write to it because as far as as far as the uh, security knows, you're writing to an outside do domain. So that's why we had to have the dot dot forward slash here sub subder. And then I've just got another one here. You, it's just because I use it. So it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, RSS head variable is written down in here, along with, uh, here's the variable for the title of the RSS file. And then from here we go right to feed. Now, one of the most important things I'm using here is something called glob. Glob is really cool. Uh, when I first got into writing PHP scripts, I would do a, a file get contents, and then if 404, if 404, meaning the web page didn't exist, was in there, then I would skip it. Okay, now you can you can use glob to actually check to see if a file exists without having to grab all the contents and open it up and all that other stuff, which takes time in a script. But in this case, we're using glob to find anything with a PHP or an HTML ending. Those are the two standard endings that you'll find in a web page. Mine are just about all PHP. Uh, from here, we use for each. Oh, I did do something kind of cool up here. And thank you, whoever provided this. Uh, this changes the sort order in the RSS feed from newest to oldest. Okay, that way if you're doing, um, uh, if you're parsing your RSS feed, now parsing your RSS feed means that you're writing your RSS feed to make it look like a web page. So usually you want your newest stuff on top because supposedly your visitors have already seen your old stuff, right? So put, this puts the new stuff on top. And then we do a for each here, files as file name. So that takes everything and then goes line by line basically through the S, uh, RSS feed. Uh, here we get the file contents of each one of these pages. And we have to get the file contents, unfortunately, because there's no other way to get the title right now with PHP. I really wish there was. Uh, but every every research I've done, it has to do, I see the word get file, con, you know, file get contents in there. So we get the file contents. And then I do a little uh, function here to get the text between the two title tags. And that gives me the title of the page for the RSS feed. Uh, if the string length of the title is less than five characters, we continue. That means it skips that and goes back to the next line in the loop. Uh, from here, I just get the file only and I do a write to dir. And that way I got just the file name. Uh, no, I don't do a write to dir, I replace the variable write to dir. Sorry about that. And then I double check my meta description, meta desk is still there. Make sure that the variable has actually been stated. Uh, if this doesn't exist, or sorry, uh, if it does exist, this title, then, and I, I realize that's a double check thing right there. I've already done that once, but you know, you never know with a script. Uh, now it's going to look for the meta tag in the description. A lot of people are skipping these description tags now. As someone who does a lot of SEO, search engine optimization, I would highly recommend having a description tag in your web page. Otherwise, Google figures out what your description is going to be. Okay. Now, what I tend to do is I put my description in there. And because I like the description so much, I also put the same description near the top of my web page as well, too. That also helps people because when they click on it, 
they want to know, oh, am I on the right page? Then they see the same type of content that they did on the search engine and they know they're in the right spot. Uh, here I'm using the at symbol to forgive any errors. And I use uh, the get meta tags right, uh, right to dir forward slash file name. Or, yeah, it's going to be a forward slash. Sorry, sorry for this fidgety explanation here of mine. This is actually the first time I've tried to explain one of my scripts. And then from here, I use the metadesk variable to get the, the tag name description. Now, if, if this doesn't exist, then it just sets the metadisk variable to, well, nothing, but it's still set. So we don't get an error. Uh, just make the hard link uh, root new and then file only. Root new is just another variable that I use. You don't really need it. You could do root and then subdir. Uh, here's your display free feed entries. And once again, this keeps looping. You see this dot right here? That dot means that it keeps adding to that one variable. And that's one reason why I had to uh, name that variable up on top. Okay, and then after it's all done with that, then we basically write to it using the write to dir variable along with the display feed name. And it writes using the RSS head that we wrote the variable for, display feed entry name, and then of course the channel closes with the closing tag of the channel and the closing tag uh, for RSS. For those that don't know, by the way, RSS stands for real simple syndication. There, I've seen a, one or two other explanations as to what it stands for, but that's that's what it used to stand for anyway. And uh, that's about it. So let's test this thing out. Okay, so just for trial, I just made a subdirectory called sandbox. By the way, this assumes that your files are in a subdirectory. Uh, they should be put in a subdirectory and that subdirectory should be keyworded with what you want people to find. Uh, if not, it can still be edited. I mean, this is a pretty simple script right here. So let's go ahead and click on this script and see what happens. I'm just going to click inside here. And now I'm going to press enter on the keyboard. Okay, and I went ahead and hyperlinked the RSS feed. So let's click on that. And there we go. There's our created RSS feed. Now, I'm not going to put this whole thing in here, but here's what I will do. Uh, I went into PayPal and I set it up. So if, if instead of trying to write this thing yourself from what you're seeing in the video, then what I will do is I will let you have the script for $5. I mean, at least one person just clicked off of my video for $5, believe it. Yeah, it's true. I swear it's true. So, you know, if, basically if you wanna try and write this yourself just for practice or because $5 means that much to you, then I understand, but this will help to support my efforts. And uh, I appreciate those of you who did go ahead and just purchase the script. So for edit purposes. And uh, I guess that's about it. So God bless you. And oh, and don't forget to sign up for my make money online for beginners.com drip income affiliate system. It's run off of PHP, a very uh, using kind of an RSS feed, kind of like what I'm using uh, for this program, except uh, a lot more detail. Uh, for example, there's a program called, uh, there's a feature in PHP called unlink. Unlink means that you can actually, as you're generating your RSS feed, 
you can actually have it look for file names or even open up those files if you want to that have certain keywords in there that you don't want like maybe you know 503 not not found you know maybe a 404 error or something like that so if it's in there then you can unlink that particular file which will delete that file from the directory and that helps keep your directory cleaned up that way too uh anyway so that's about it and uh I'm sure I'll think of one or one or two more things to t to tell you. Uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, uh, God bless and enjoy your RSS feed PHP script.